Hello, hello everybody. In this video, I'm gonna show you just some of my favorite quick sound design tools that you can start using to get some inspiration or some really quick and easy sound design for your projects. So first up, I wanna show you one called Synplant right here. Now, Synplant is really fun, kinda silly, and I absolutely love it. So Synplant allows you to basically make synth patches from these branches that you see right here. So I'm just gonna play some random notes. I just loaded up a preset just so you can hear what it sounds like kind of out of the box. So basic synth patch, nothing too crazy. The cool part about Synplant though is that I can pick one of these kind of branches, these little plants, and drag them around to change the character of the sound. So each one of these branches will have a different character as I drag them out. So let's say I pick this one that's assigned to F sharp. Let's say I wanna start playing with that sound some more. So I just clicked it so you can see a little seed here on this F sharp area here. And then if I click this seed in the middle, it takes the sound that we just had at F sharp and makes that our bass sound. Now when I drag out from any one of these branches, I'll kind of modify the sound we just had. And you really never know what you're gonna get. This thing's super fun. You, you have no idea what is actually gonna happen. It can be a really useful tool. It can take some time considering it is kinda random. But even so, I've used this countless times to great effect. All right, and next up is Isotope Iris. Now, Isotope Iris works kind of similarly to Contact 5 in that it's basically a sampler. So you can throw in a sample of anything. You can throw in an instrument or a piece of glass being shattered or whatever it is, and then you can trigger it back using your keyboard. Here, I'm using a preset that's this kind of woody sort of spinning sound, so I'll play it raw for you. And depending on which key I use, it goes higher or lower in pitch. like a typical sampler. But Iris is really cool in that it allows you to basically paint what frequencies you'd like to hear back of that sound. So right now we're hearing everything. We're hearing the actual sound. But I can take a paintbrush, for example, and just paint what frequencies I want to hear whenever I play a key back. And now you'll hear as the playhead goes by, we'll only hear those frequencies. So we'll go from high to low over time. This can be incredibly useful for just experimenting and creating really odd, weird, otherworldly sorts of effects really quickly and really easily. I love throwing stuff into here and just seeing what comes out. So you can just kind of paint all over the place and see what that sounds like. Very useful for evolving ambiences as well. So if you have some sort of tone or thing that you want to evolve over time, you can paint a whole bunch of different frequencies and have it shift and change in the frequency spectrum over time, thus creating a cool new unique sound. And last up, we have Absinthe. Now, you've seen me talk about this plugin before. It's really ubiquitous, it's pretty common. But the one feature I wanna mention is the mutate function. Now, this thing is super freaking cool it basically allows you to somewhat randomize the sound that you're making so that you can get a cool new result. So right now I just have a really simple synth snare loaded. Really nothing special at all. But what I can do now is I can start hitting mutate a whole bunch and what it will do is start mutating the sound. You can also set different parameters but I'm just gonna hit it without any just to see what it does. So I'm gonna hit it a few times just to see what happens. Good God, that's amazing. So <laughs> the mutate function for Absinthe can be really silly and really, really fun and can get you some effects that maybe you didn't think you could possibly get from coming from a just simple snare effect. So it's a really fun one, can be very useful when you just need inspiration and you need something to just start your imagination. 
So thanks so much for watching this one. If you liked it, of course, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do a video every single week and also sign up for my newsletter. That's where I give out all my best stuff for those of you who want a career in sound design, you want more sound design tips, you want the ability to make a living off of making music and sound for video games, or you just want to freelance in the industry in some way, shape or form. So sign up for the newsletter in the description below or the card up above, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.